And so I'm gonna try the viral messy bun that Delaney Child came up with, but I'm gonna use my friend Hannah Adams spin on it. But then on the other side, I'm going to fill it with these little Lucky Charm marshmallows. We're gonna make homemade lunchables. I need to get some birthday party prep done. At that point of the day where then I was home with the kids outside, I am cooking dinner in peace. I'm watching a YouTube video. Literally one of my favorite parts of the day. Like every month after I get out of the shower, when I see my hair like super wet, Baby, I get this urge to try and wear it natural. I'm like, this is the time where I'm going to be able to wear it natural. And every time I regret it because it never ends up looking like solid. I have all of these areas that are like pretty wavy and like crimped looking. Um, like this side for sure too. And then I get the pieces on top that just like look kinked. I swear it's like flat to my head here. It's poofy here. And yes, there is a few curls here. It's because I tried this hairstyle yesterday, but I do not have the time to wash, dry, curl my hair today. And so I'm gonna try the viral messy bun that Delaney Childs came up with, but I'm gonna use my friend Hannah Adams spin on it. Um, her hair seems more similar to mine. And so I'm going to try her little tutorial. Like I said, I did try it yesterday. That's why I have a few like curled pieces in my hair and I didn't like perfect it. So I'm hoping today I will be able to do it a little bit cuter, but let's see if we can tame this crazy hair. I actually need to figure out what I'm wearing first because I don't want to mess up my hair when I get dressed, but I swear I wear the exact same things just rotated like bi-monthly and you guys see it because you see my videos and I'm just like really getting bored of my wardrobe. Decided to just go with an all black look. This bodysuit is from Free People. It's like a square neck and it's one of my favorite pieces. And then these shorts are from Zara. I just want like a cozy, comfy look today just to chase around my kids. And then I just have my New Balance 360s, I believe, and some frill ruffle socks. My shirt has so much fuzz all over it, but I am not going to risk going downstairs to get a lint roller because my kids are playing so amazing right now. And if they see me, it'll break their focus. So let's try and get this hair up really quick before I know someone's gonna need me. Okay, I definitely like it. I think it's super cute. It is a little fancy for just like a stay-at-home mom vlog day, but I'm gonna keep it because yeah, it's cute and fun and elevated and hopefully it looks good from the back. I am super impressed with my kids. They just gave me like a solid 30 minutes to completely get ready and I only had to talk to them I think twice which honestly isn't that bad. And I just did it from the top of the stairs and they were like good, but they're definitely starting to lose it. So let's go see the damage that was done because they were awfully quiet for a minute and that is never a good sign. Where's Rocky? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bird. Bird? Yeah. Did you yeah. hear it outside? Okay, I found their mess. They like to hoard things in one spot and then sit here and play with it, which is great and fun until it's time for cleanup. Gonna make the kids a little sensory bin because I haven't done one since the last one I did with you guys. Um, and so I still have the filler from that activity that I'm gonna use too. But then on the other side, I'm going to fill it with these little Lucky Charm marshmallows. And then we're gonna do a color sorting. So I'm gonna take the eggs out of here put them in here so that way they can fill up the cups. And then I'm gonna throw in some just like Easter things. We have this from like a Love Every kit. This is the Target dollar spot. Just try and make it as festive as possible.
This is how it turned out. Nothing crazy, but it is super cute and fun. And these little marshmallows are so festive, especially with like the eggs I already had. They were literally the exact same colors, which was perfect. Okay, these two were waiting so patiently right here for me. So you guys ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and then we toast them? Sure. Good. They always eat sensory activities that involve food, which honestly, I don't ever care. They don't consume like too much and they've already had a healthy breakfast, so it's not that big of a deal. But if that is something of your concern, definitely don't include food because they will eat it. Good official hello and start to the video. This week is a crazy week because Echo turns two on Sunday. I cannot <laughs> believe that I'm gonna have a three and a half year old and a two year old. I feel like I am so far out of the baby stage that it actually feels like forever since I've been pregnant and that my kids are so old. And I know that two and three is not old by any means, but it just feels so different. Like as you guys saw this morning, they played so well together and I just feel like our life has just gotten so much more independent. My kids were so insanely dependent on me for this entire time I've been a mom, which makes sense, but it's just such a crazy like feeling to just feel like my kids are not babies. Like I don't have babies, I have toddlers. And honestly, it has given me the worst baby fever. Like I am so ready for another baby. what do you make me? Can I have a bite? Thank you. I think I was saying that I'm really ready to be pregnant, but I am trying my best to just enjoy what we have right now. Like I longed for this time for so long when life felt so chaotic and we are finally just like able to do a lot Mama. more and not constantly have to like tend. And so I'm just trying to live in the present and enjoy my kids as they are. But it doesn't mean that baby fever is not strong. I feel like all of my friends are pregnant and having babies and like I just see so many newborns and I crave like that just laying on my chest with a baby time of my life. Speaking of my kids, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite children's multivitamin and that is from Haya. I try my best to be as intentional as possible as I can with my kids, especially when it comes to things that I'm going to be giving them on a daily basis, which is why I'm so thankful that I found Haya. Haya is a pediatrician approved, super powered chewable vitamin that is created with 12 organic fruits and vegetables, and then it is super charged with 15 essential vitamins and minerals. It's sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, gelatin-free, basically free of anything that you wouldn't want part of your kid's daily routine. And it's picky eater friendly. Rocky absolutely loves this. It is never a fight to get him to take his multivitamin. I have to also add that Echo is two days away from turning two and I am going to give her one of these on her birthday because she seriously wants them every time I give them to Rocky and she's gonna be stoked. This is such a good solution for any busy mom because it is sent straight to your door on a pediatrician recommended schedule so you do not have to add another thing to your to-do list. They give you this super cute glass customizable bottle and then they send eco-friendly refills each month. If you would like to make getting your kids nutrients in so much easier, Hyatt is offering you 50% off your first purchase. You can click the link in my description box or head to hyahealth.com backslash Kylene Rodriguez. Wanted to give a big thank you to Haya for working Working with me on another video. Okay, so listen, we're gonna make homemade Lunchables, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have you guys cut the meat of this. with those, and then mama will cut the cheese, and I'll get the crackers, okay? So I gotta show you really quick how we do it, and then you guys can do it your own. Lift your cutter up. So you take apart the meat. Yep, so we're gonna put it flat, and I want you to try and use up as much space as you can. So start in the corner. Start in the corner, push down, and then twist, and then it'll come out, okay? You do that as many times as you can. Try and get them all close together, okay? Look, ready? Start in the corner, hold on, hold on. Gentle hand first. Okay, now push, now twist. Here, let mama help. Look, oh, I didn't make the body make. This goes is a little bit harder. I did it! Good job! Echo, let me know if you need help, okay? Yeah. 
Keep going. <laughs> Mom is in the front seat. She honks. Beep, beep. Rough me and echo in the back seat. I am brave. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm nice. I am capable. I am loved. Yes. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm sorry we had a rough morning. When you wake up, we're going to have such a better afternoon, okay? Got the kids down. Honestly, this morning was kind of chaotic after they played like so well while I got ready. There was just a ton of emotions. Both of them woke up multiple times the night last night and I had a bachelor night. I literally feel like I'm like having deja vu because I swear this happened like a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, we're just all tired and just full of emotions. So I am happy to have a reset and let them nap. I'm gonna get some stuff done so I'll be a little bit less stressed and hopefully the rest of the afternoon we can take a turn. In about 20 minutes, I have a phone call with a personal trainer, which I'm really excited about. And then I need to do some DIYs for Echo's birthday and like do some last minute like prep type of stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and hopefully that will just like release some like creative endorphins that will just kind of calm me down too. Okay, my call with my personal trainer just went so well. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start with her tomorrow and I'm just honestly so excited to not have to think about my workouts. I feel like for so long I really enjoyed like planning them out but I've been kind of in a workout rut for the past like month or so um, and I feel like I go and I'm still consistent with going but like my energy and effort has just been very like low um so i'm excited to just like stick to something and have someone else tell me what to do and just like get really excited about working out anyways though i need to get some birthday party prep done i'm really trying to space everything out this week so that way thursday and friday are not like super chaotic for me so what I want to work on right now is all of the Cricut and like vinyl work. On her backdrop, I'm going to have it say woof like three times stacked. I 100% stole this from a Pinterest photo. And so I need to find fonts for that and then get that spaced out so I can get the Cricut to cut it onto vinyl so it's just ready to go once I put up the backdrops. And then I need to make signs for all of these bones. I'm going to write out some of the kids' names on it, I think, and then I'm also going to use these as like little name tags for the food. So I want it to say like pasta with P-A-W and like a barcuterie board. So it just like kind of makes sense as to why I got some of the food that I did. I'm not trying to get it like identical to this, but I do like the format of that. I'm having a really hard time with the cursive one, and the more I look at this word, the more it looks so insanely weird. Okay, for some reason my Cricut is saying that I don't have enough material even though I like shoved it all to the side here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out later. I do not have enough time to figure that out right now. I'm gonna have to do that tonight once the kids go to sleep. I wanna make sure that I can get as much done as possible and I only have like 45 minutes left or so. So we're gonna move on to the next task. And sorry, I'm in the playroom now just because our landscapers are here and it's so loud. But I need to cut the holes for the little dog carriers for the adult a dog section of the party so we're gonna work on that and then I will try my best to insert a photo of how all of those little like bones turn out when I'm done with them as well as the backdrop but if not I will be sharing her entire party on Instagram I won't be vlogging just because it really pulls me away from being there but I will of course grab some photos and videos and I will share there so if you guys are curious how all of this is going to turn out make sure you're following me there at Kyleen Rael
just me to really see. Give you more than half a million. Here's a little sneak peek at what the Adopt a Puppy station is going to look like. I think it's so cute. I'm going to put a sign up right here that will say Adopt a Puppy, but I love it. They're all not like perfectly in there, but you guys get the point. You can't even see this one's eyes. <laughs> These are Amazon dogs and they're not the best, but honestly for two year olds, they're perfect. Little pause from birthday to jump over to Easter since it's all the same weekend, but I just really wanted to share these swim trunks I found for Rocky. These are from Zara and I thought they were so cute. We kind of had something similar last year from H&M, but the quality is a little bit better here. But these ones I really, really like. And surprisingly, they're not too big. I did order true to size for him, which I usually with Zara ordered down for shorts, but these look great. I'm gonna put these in his Easter basket. Um, I do know I'm getting another pair of Shop Olivia J socks. They're going to be dinosaurs, so I'm gonna put those in there too. And then I have some other things. I do feel like he's a little too old for this, and I don't know that he'll appreciate it, but it is super cute. But a part of me wants to save it for like a future kid and get him something else. Um, I have the coloring book. I did actually today order him a Sarah Silk sword because we have like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle swords. <laughs> And they're plastic and they've like bent in half and like Rocky literally loves playing superheroes and bad guys and we don't really have like a good sword. So I did order him that um, and I might get him like a little stuffed animal of some sort. I do kind of think it's a little bit of a waste unless it is like Ghost Spider because he has been Spidey and he always is like, I don't have Ghost Spider. And we actually use his stuffed animals every single night to tell stories with them. So I think he would really like that. But I was really trying not to spend much for the baskets and just kind of use things that got sent our way because all of this adds up so much. But then it's also so fun to just like make the holidays a little bit extra special for them. I mean, they're kids, they love gifts um, and it's just fun. But I definitely go back and forth with that complex of like, they don't need more, don't spend money, don't make it all about toys, but then like it is kind of fun, you know? Okay, I figured out why it wasn't cutting. I had the words on the bottom half. So I was saying it needed like this whole thing and I didn't have enough, so I moved it to the top and now it is totally good. All right, this is how Echo's little name tag turned out and this is sort of the vision that I was going for. I'm so excited, I think it's gonna be so cute. All right, kids are up from their nap. If you hear munching, I gave them Cheetos to keep them occupied while we go run an errand. We are gonna go to my friend Artemisa's house really quick and pick up those backdrops that I'm borrowing from her. Um, two things, again, I try to spread out all of my chores throughout the week so it doesn't feel as hectic. And then two, if you have a friend that likes to throw parties, has kids around the same age, lives close, like any of the things, team up on things. There's no use in buying doubles of everything. So like, for an example, I have little kids party tables and all of my friends borrow them all the time and I love it. They're like $45 each, which is not crazy expensive, but for us to all buy that is so silly. And so we share them. And then Artemisa has these backdrops now. And then like I have bounce houses, we have climbing things. Like there's so much that everyone can share and it's so helpful. It saves so much money for all of us. But then it also like allows us to have a lot of the things that make it like super cute and fun and interactive. So biggest tip for sure is find some friends and split the expenses. You're gonna throw many birthday parties. You're gonna get your use out of them. And if you're extra smart, you can rent them out to other people as well, like on Facebook Marketplace or any place like that. Cheeto monster. It's me. At that point of the day where Nathaniel was home, he took the kids outside to ride scooters. I am cooking dinner in peace. I'm watching a YouTube video. 
literally one of my favorite parts of the day. Just get my body moving and kind of stretch out. And so, anyway, that was a really good class. We're making lemon chicken. Who's gonna sit by me? I'm gonna sit by you. Buddy, I'm sitting right here. Is that cute girl? I don't. Yeah. Why don't we have any Tupperware? What are you gonna have? I don't Strawberries, know. blueberries. Okay, you can do it, buddy. Yeah. Which one does gas? X. Uh, yep. Okay, I've got to go. We have to press this button, right? Yeah, that's right. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Mario Circuit. Let's do it. Okay, ready? I'll tell you when to hit it, okay? Listen to mama. Ready? Beep, beep. Now. Oh, is that us? Are we peach? Yeah. I go with holding it. <laughs> Good job holding the button, sis. Dude, this boy just got second place all on his own. It doesn't show it here because it like averages the two scores, but what the heck? All right, we made it. We made it past bedtime. I wanted to update you guys on my hair because I actually really enjoyed it all day. I feel like it was out of my face. If I wanted these like behind my ear, it was totally fine, but I felt like really put together and just cute. So I'm gonna leave the link to the girls reel down below. It was super easy to do. And I'm excited to have another hairstyle for like dirty hair. Yesterday, Rocky started soccer and I'm actually coaching it. Um, Nathaniel like offered me to coach. And so I wrangled my sister because my sister used to play collegiate soccer and she knows way more than I do. You guys didn't know I used to play soccer for club and for high school. But anyways, my two friends are on the team. My friend Artemisa that I feel like I mention all the time, her daughter is on the team. And then actually my friend Allie that I used to play club soccer with, her son is on the team too. And her husband is also helping coach the team. Um, and I honestly had like a lot of anxiety about it because Nathaniel signed me up for it. I felt like very out of control and I didn't really know what was going on. Um, and so I didn't really like talk about it really to anyone. And I was like really stressed yesterday because I just like felt a lot of pressure, but it was seriously so easy and so fun. And um, the kids are all three. So literally just teaching them to not use their hands and to stay on the field is like top priority for us. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Rocky was so cute. I asked him before practice what he was like most excited for about soccer. And instantly he was like, for you to coach me. He is literally the sweetest soul. And I think it's gonna be such a fun season. It's only like six weeks, so it's nothing crazy. But yeah, my boy is playing his first sport. My hair is quite literally a poof ball on the back of my head. But that is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Haya if you want to try the best children's multivitamin. You can head to HayaHealth.com backslash Kylene Rodriguez for 50% off your first order. Thank you guys again for being here. Seriously, it means the world. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.